This is the golden play button. It is given to YouTube content creators who reach 1 million subscribers. I'm going to be honest. I live an incredible life right now. But it wasn't always like that. When people ask me the secrets of my success, I tell them it's just three words. Why not me? It sounds so simple, and yet a lot of people seem to misunderstand it. And today, I want to show you examples of times in my life when I have used those three magic words and how it had led to right here, where I am standing, achieving one of my biggest dreams. When I was a little boy in primary school in Tân Phú, Đồng Nai, I had a very simple dream, which was to be the best student in my town so that one day I could represent my local area at the contest for the best students in the province. I looked around at the other students in my class, in my mountainous and rural hometown, and I thought, why not me? I am as good as anyone else, and if I work hard, I can achieve anything that I set my mind to. With hard work and persistence, I eventually competed on the provincial level. My academic career hasn't always been plain sailing, though. As I stepped into my college year, I stumbled. English has never been a problem for me. That was until my university years. From that boy with top score in English in secondary school and high school, I suddenly and shockingly got placed into the second lowest level of class for English. I felt like I'd gone from being a big fish in a small pond to a small fish in a great big ocean. Under the pressure of countless things, academic struggles, homesickness, failed applications for university student clubs, I became a quiet and intimidated person with no self-confidence. Luckily, there came a day when all the students had a chance to talk to the faculty dean to get her wise but warm counsel and encouragement. I started developing a detailed plan to improve myself step by step. With her help, and after constant grinding, I climbed the ranks and eventually obtained scholarships at my university. I saw the opportunity to represent Vietnam National University to take part in a variety of international student festivals and exchange youth programs. And I thought, why not me? I took the chance with my both hands at Surin International Folklore Festival. I met nearly 1,000 youngsters from all over the world and was even given an honor of raising Vietnamese flag in front of international friends and presenting Vietnam's culture to the world. I saw an opportunity and I said, why not me? From that very first country to 35 countries and counting, I have always tried to find opportunities, more doors to open, new pathways, and new destinations. I never stop asking myself my favorite motivational question, why not me? But sometimes it seems like there are no opportunities at all. Whenever I felt like that, I tried to create my own opportunities. Once, I even messaged one of the biggest stars in Vietnam to MC her event. And guess what? She rejected me. But that rejection led to an even better opportunity later on. Sometimes one door closes, so another one can open. Let's take a quick poll in the room. 
Raise your hand if you have ever regretted not doing something. So many hands. Thank you. In a study by the British Psychological Society on people's regrets, it was found that 76% of the participants were likely to mention a regret about not following their dreams. It was Wayne Gretzky who said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And back in 2010, I was fascinated by a program called the Sheep for Southeast Asian and Japanese Youth Program, SEAP. S-S-E-A-Y-P is an annual program hosted by Japan, and it's a dream for many Vietnamese young adults from 18 to 30, because the Japanese government sponsors selected participants full scholarship for their study, travel, and related expenses, visiting five different countries on a giant ship named Nippon Maru. I could not pass up that opportunity. And guess what? I was rejected. Not once, but three times. In 2011, I applied and was rejected. In 2012, I applied and was rejected. In 2013, I applied again and was, yeah, you guessed it, rejected. Finally, in 2014, I got it. If I had given up after the first, second, or even third rejection, I never would have succeeded the fourth attempt. I know it might sound easy and basic. Happy vibes are all around when you think positively and are optimistic. And the truth is, there were times in my life I cried in the middle of the night when doubting myself and really wanted to give up my passion. Flash forward to 2020, and like everyone else in the world, I was consuming a lot of media during the pandemic. I would sit there and think how incredible it would be to create content that would put a smile on people's faces during that difficult time. I saw successful content creators at home and abroad, and I thought, why not me? I still remember my first viral video on YouTube and I felt like I had just become a superstar after one night. But that video was blocked the following morning because of copyright issue. So my overnight success was quite a short leap, at least for them, but lessons were learned. I became more professional and focused day by day. I found my true passion, and you know what? Working didn't feel like work anymore. It wasn't always sunshine and rainbow, though. I faced negativity and public backlash that I never experienced before, from toxic comments on social media channels to even people in the street. It wasn't just about me, though. They even criticized my family and friends. It's easy to feel depressed when people are making toxic comments and posts about you and the people closest to you. But I thought, why do I have to be sad and doubt myself when I can instead my energy and efforts into pursuing my passion and entertaining people? And that's exactly what I did. Through ups and downs, laughter and tears, from zero all the way to four million TikTok followers and one million YouTube subscribers, from a small mountainous town to traveling all over the world and collaborating with some of the biggest entertainers in Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Thay Beo O Bong Mui.
Whenever I see an opportunity in my life, I say, "Why not me?" So for the times in your life when you see an opportunity, why not you? Thank you.